Yo, what's going on guys? My name is Cypress, and in this video we're going to be looking at how to set up and use webhook embeds in your Discord server. Remember to like and subscribe, and if you would, it would be greatly appreciated. Enjoy the video. So here's a little example of what we're looking at. So this right here is a webhook embed, this whole entire message right here where it is basically a bot, but it's not actually a bot, and then it'll send like an embed as a message. So we're going to start off by going into our server settings, and you do need administrator permissions for this to work. So we're going to go over to integrations, and then click on this thing called webhooks. And right here we can create a new webhook, and it should show up around here. And then you can see that there is a avatar, a name, and a channel. So if we go back to here, this is the avatar right here, and you can change this, and then this is the name, and uh, this is the channel that you want to send it in. So when we go back into this and look at our webhooks and then this, we can name it whatever. I like naming mine like this just to make it look nice. And then we can just leave that as the avatar for now, but you can make it whatever you want. And then I'm just going to have it send in, uh, let's just have it send in the general channel. And then once we do that, uh, we can actually look up this thing called disco hook.org this is how you're going to send the webhook and basically you can like customize and create your own webhook here so what you're going to want to do is go back in your server settings integrations webhooks and then copy hit this right here where it says copy webhook url so it copies to your keyboard and then right here where it says webhook url you're just going to want to paste that and then right here you can see it, it isn't gray anymore, it's actually blue. And if we were to send this now, it would send this exact message. But I don't really want to send all of this right here, so we can just delete that. And then you can see it disappears. And then right here, where it says embed1, that's going to be this part right here. Because you can see a little split right here, which would mean that's, this is embed2, that's embed1. And so author is going to be... This is... The, here, I'll just say what it is. So like if you say hi... It comes up like right above there and then the author uh, URL is going to show up here as well and then the icon is going to be right here. So and then you can go to body which would be all this right here and the title is this thing right here and that's what I usually use and then URL that would just be a random URL that you want. And then we can go to fields, which would basically just add another field. So we only have one body right here, but we can add more fields. And then images, you can have the image URL, which would be this thing on the bottom. So if you go over to my channel, this is the, the uh, this would be the image URL right here. This little big image down here. This right here would be the thumbnail right there. And basically you could see right here, I just use the title in the body and then I use description for all this and then down here you uh, can add a footer so it'd be pop up right below this image down here and you can also change the color of this side panel right here by going over to right here where it says color and you can either click this to change the color or you can type in your own code and once you do all that and you customize whatever you want to send uh, you can just hit right here to send it and we can just test it right now and if you go back into your server it will send right here and also you can edit this message here i'll resend it actually you can edit this message by copying the message id so copy message id well copy the id right there and then we can go back up to here Actually, my bad uh, you have to copy the message link and then come down here and paste it right there and then once you do that you can just send edit it'll change it to edit right here and then it'll basically just see you can see it says edited right there it'll just resend the message basically and also if you want to do things like bold text or things like this right here where it's black around the area or if you want to do like italics or bold and italics uh, what you're going to want to do is you can actually see in the example where it says how to do all this. So if you go over to fields, it'll say right here. So if you want to do the black text, you're just going to want to do this text right here. So it's on keyboards, it's going to be on the left of the one to do that and make sure it's just over both of the sides of the word or text. 
And then for italics, it's going to be the same as Discord, so you're just going to want to use the star, uh, which is the shift 8, basically. And make sure that's on both sides. If you want bold, it's two stars. If you want bold and italics, three stars. Also, one more thing, if you are using an image URL or a thumbnail URL, or really any, you're going to want to go and not use the imager, so imger, I-M-G-U-R.com. You're not going to want to use that. You can actually copy the link to the image and just put .png and then send it into Discord, and it'll send it as an image, and then you're just going to want to go onto the image, like click on it, and then right click, and then just copy the image address. It'll switch it into a Discord link, and the Discord link will work, but for some reason imager links don't really work sometimes on discohook.org, so just make sure that you do use the Discord link. If you guys run into any errors or if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. And if you have anything else, you can join my Discord server and DM me or ping me in the server. And besides that, thank you for watching and I hope you guys all have a great day.